Hi, and welcome back to Lex Play. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, right now, I'm standing on Lorien ground. I've dreamed of my own island, and since I didn't go into my house for the official tour of Lorien that I did, I figured I would show you all the house in a separate video. So that's what this is. We're gonna go tour through my house. Very predictably, I think I've made this first main room a living room. If you've been around my page for a while crossing Lorien, you might remember the days when I was crossing Rivendell, and this is actually identical to the living room I had on my first ever island, Rivendell. Um, I figured, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. It was already perfect to me, I really liked the vibes. So for Lost Falls, I'm gonna branch out, I'll make a new room, but I thought I'd just carry this over. It was also kind of heartwarming because this was my first island reset and I really did kind of miss Rivendell for a bit. But yeah, so this is just a reminder of my original island. I've got some art on the walls here. I think the bamboo wall decorations just look so good. Like, they're so classy and you can use them in like any room. Like these would also look great in a bathroom. So yeah, this is my first room of my house. I'm pretty happy with it. I like the way it came out. I think we'll go to the back room next. This room is sort of, it's like a library, I guess. I want it to be both a library and a functional workspace, sort of like an office. But also, if you watch my Lorien tour, you know that Kiki is an aspiring writer and a bookworm. So, you know, I added her picture here. She's the cutest villager in the world. I will hear no other opinions. She is number one in my heart and in the game. But yeah, for this room, I really wanted to bring in very warm and cozy vibes. I tried to use mostly red and browns, and I just really love the plants in here. Loki doing a slow rotation like this is so difficult. I feel like I'm using 100% of my brain right now. But yeah, so this is just a cozy little workspace. It's unfortunately not, like, you do have to move like this sometimes. Like, you can't just walk freely. But you know, pretty hurts. For my next room, I'll show you the bathroom. This is a room I did make originally on Rivendell, but I didn't really get to like use it at all or feature it really because I ended up restarting my island like the very next day. So yeah, she gets to live here on Lorien. I keep meaning to put up tapestries on the back wall here, but you know, at this point I'm like focused on Lost Falls. I guess this bathroom will never be officially complete for me. But yeah, I wanted to switch it up a little bit since I do mostly use brown in my house or like earthy tones. I just wanted to bring in a pop of blue. Blue is my favorite color and I feel like there's not enough of it in this game. So yeah, classy, elegant bathroom, white and blue, very bright and happy. Next, I'll show you my bedroom.
this room was based around Luna's bed. I knew I wanted to use this bed and that was really all that I knew. It was the only idea I had starting off. But because my island is named after Lorien from Lothlorien of Lord of the Rings, I figured it'd be cute to make it sort of like a hobbit hole sort of vibe, which is why I chose this wall with the circle window. I just thought that was super precious just to kind of, you know, recognize my roots. This area over here actually is accessible. It doesn't look like it, but you can come over here and sit at the vanity and you have this little privacy shield. It was really hard to fit an entire bedroom into this size room because on Rivendell, I used my upstairs to be my bedroom. So I had a lot more room to work with, but I don't know. I think this turned out cute. Also, this back wall is like my display area for just wall stuff. It was mostly an attempt to get more HHA points, but also the pictures there, Punchy gave me his photo on Rivendell. That's the same picture. I saved it on a friend's island. And same with Audie. She gave me her photo on Rivendell. The other photos are ones I won in a Twitter giveaway, so happy to have those as well. I also love that I put my dream at sunset because I think that's the best time for this room. Also, the little trench coat on the wall is like a callback to Bilbo Baggins about to go on his adventure in The Hobbit, is it not? Like, wow. That and the little suitcase, we stan. Next, I will share with you my kitchen. So again, this is a room I carried from Rivendell because if it's not broken, don't fix it. I don't think that's even the saying, isn't it? Like, don't fix what ain't broke or something. I don't know. Anyway, but this is my kitchen. Can you tell I love earthy tones? Like I'm obsessed. I love the browns and the greens. And I feel like everyone uses the white kitchen furniture, but the black kitchen furniture is so chic to me, like the gas range here and the double door refrigerator. By the way, if you're ever curious about a furniture item you see, feel free to comment down below and I'll do my best to figure out the name for you if you'd like to acquire it for yourself. But as always, lots of plants, lots of brown. We dig it. We love cohesive houses. Last but not least is my conservatory of sorts. This is kind of like a research room, just my indoor happy plant place, as if the plants in all the other rooms weren't enough. And I just wanted this to feel very like scholarly, I guess. So I gave it this microphone and essay set because I was like, you know, maybe I'm doing research up here and I've got my degree and everything. I'm so qualified to do plant biology. I have an English degree in real life, so not really I'm fake, I'm a fraud, but that's fine, that's okay. Also, I'm obsessed with Rover's briefcase. Let me just put one in every room, to be honest. Thank you, Glitter, for giving me these. And then I put a sauna heater. It kind of looks like, if you don't look too closely, it kind of looks like it's just full of garbage, but it's not, it's cute. I was imagining kind of like a greenhouse effect, except without the sun, so not the greenhouse effect at all, but like a way to keep the plants warm. I don't know if that makes sense when they're indoors, but you know, the brain wants what it wants. So yeah, this is just a cozy lounge and plant area. So that wraps up all of the rooms in my house. If you enjoyed walking around my house with me, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you have a favorite room, tell me below in the comments. I'd love to see your thoughts as I'm working on my Lost Falls house, which will hopefully eventually be as finished as this one. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my tour of Lorien where I explore the whole island, you know, except for the house. 
but if you're interested in seeing the rest of the island I spent so long on, I did do a full tour over on my YouTube channel. So yeah, check that out as well. If you'd like to visit for yourself, I'll go ahead and put the dream address up so that you can come as well and you all know what it is. This video would not be complete without a little comment from my younger sister. You guys are the best supporters in the world and I love you guys and goodbye.